Okay, today we want to look at Polaris. And to make this easier, we want to turn off the atmosphere. And the reason for that is if the atmosphere is present, we can't see the stars during the day. We can only see them at night, which is what our real life experience is. But we're gonna make life a little bit easier for us in Stellarium so that we can see the stars day or night, um, which would be the case if we did not have an atmosphere present. So you're gonna pull the cursor down to the bottom and you're going to go over to the item that looks kind of like a cloud and a sun maybe, but if you hover over it, it says atmosphere. So we're gonna turn, hit that button and you'll see the sky turn dark, even though it's during our daylight hours. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna find Polaris. And so we're gonna pull the cursor over to the left menu and go down to search. Again, you can use control F if you're on a Windows machine or command F if you are on a Mac. So search window, click in it to make sure it takes your typing, and then we're gonna type in Polaris. And we'll hit search. And you can see that Polaris is highlighted. Also that whoop, this item over here says Polaris. So we know that we're looking at the right thing. And now what I want to do is I want to, um, speed up time right now time if you look in the status bar down here at the bottom time is just going by in real time but i want to speed it up a little bit because i want to see what the stars are doing as time goes by more quickly sort of like a time lapse photography so i'm going to pull the cursor over here to the date time window and i'm just going to pull this out of the way a little bit just so i can kind of clearly see what's going on around polaris and at first I'm just going to move up the minute. Remember, this is hour, minute, second. I'm just gonna play with the minutes for a little bit and then I'll move on to the hour. So when I click up the minutes, it doesn't really matter what date time you are. If it's today's date, that's fine. Um, but I just wanna click through the minutes kind of quickly. So I'm just tapping this up arrow over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and you can see the stars are moving, right? Now I'm gonna do the hours just so it's a little bit more of a dramatic jump right but you can see what's happening with the stars as it goes around polaris now it's going to ask you a question about when the stars right in what direction the stars rise and which do they set and so to do that you're going to use your up and down arrow to make sure you can see the ground right here underneath polaris is the north direction you see the end there on the ground I can also go around to the other direction. So I'm just using my left and right arrow to go, now I'm looking west, now I'm looking south, and now I'm looking east. And so what I wanna do is, I want to, I'll keep it looking east. Um, I wanna find uh, Polaris again. So um, actually I don't need Polaris. I can just up these hours again Maybe the minutes are better to see. And you can see that the stars are coming up in the east. Right? If I go around to, I had to close my date time, but I'm using the arrows to go around um, to the different directions. If I do that same thing with the date time, I'm looking south now. The stars are moving, but they're not really rising in the south. They were rising in the east. And then, so then you want to go to another direction where might be a really good candidate if you think about what the sun does and figure out in what direction do they set. 